That would be a red light. You good? Alright, well. Hundred and eighty seven in Wadsworth, right? Hundred and eighty seven in Wadsworth, got it. Alright, Chief. Are you going to the same Uh yeah, we're gonna try and get on up to Amsterdam. Yeah. We're on first right now. Instead of River Road, we couldn't get into River Road from where we were. Too much trouble. But um this gets us there. Well, nobody this really expects. in the box. He's, this is bad news, this guy. Nobody really expects us to be on time. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could uh, fire up the old siren. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad idea. I was saying to George, uh, we'll probably get arrested at least once for impersonating a medical officer. You like the truck? What? You like the truck? Yeah. Yeah, pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, except it doesn't have it. Got a radio. That's it. What kind? Of, what do you mean? Like, what? Well, it doesn't have a CD player. Oh, a CD player? No. That's no good. Gotta have music. I gotta get my phone situation sorted out. I uh, don't have a phone. I dropped my phone the other day and uh, it is now unusable. So it's March the 8th today. Just wanna mark that time. That date, 12.08. And we are in New York City. We're gonna go meet a bunch of uh, high school children. They're gonna carry the torch of life. And hopefully we can help one person today who's in need of a transplant. David. Yes. So Continue filming even as we get there. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna film the whole thing right yeah, through. I'm not turning this off. Okay, and then when the, the torch truck starts, like when the kids get ready to start walking, I'll grab that camera now and you're gonna use the picture. You're gonna take pictures of it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I got very little room on my own camera. I have to move all of that film from Central America onto uh, Facebook, and then I got tons of room on my camera. Actually, I have a memory stick somewhere, and I don't know where the hell it is. I think I left it in my other suitcase at home. Well, I'm very familiar with this vehicle. This diesel uh, oh, yeah. vehicle, because I drove a shuttle bus okay, yeah. uh, two summers ago, mm. and it was exactly the same. Yeah. Noisy, yeah, yeah. noisy, yeah. noisy. Yes, it doesn't quiet down until you're cruising about 70 on the highway. Yeah, it feels nice once you get to that 70 range. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You know, on the way to Buffalo and Rochester. I didn't have this whole gauge thing down with the uh, Canadian Kilometer. I think we were doing like 20 or 30 miles an hour on the way out there. <laughs> Did you realize that? Well, because on the way home, and I noticed a difference in fuel too, because on the way home I cranked it up and she ran like a top and she you put it at a hundred or, 100 or in between 100 and 120 here, that's, you're doing about 70 miles an hour then. 
I don't think we ever hit 60 on the way out there because I thought we were speeding with the, with, with the way the speedometer was. All right, so that was Glenn. Yeah. Glenn's from East Haven, Connecticut. And you can tell by his accent. He said next, messed up uh, New England, a little bit of Cape Cod, a little bit of slang, street layers, all kinds of stuff. People ask me where you come from. I can't pick up that accent. And I'm like, I don't know, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, well, me too, you know. I got a little soul in there, a little southern, a little, a little Cape Cod, Boston, you know, a little bit of everything in there. Well, uh, I'm kind of the same way because uh, I was born in England. I lived there for seven years, and uh, then I lived in Ontario. Uh, I spent a year down here and uh, really picked up the southern accent. And uh, on the west coast, we talk a lot like uh, they do in California. So. Yeah. So. And I tend, like I said, I tend to be a mimic, and I pick up. If, oh, I'm, with somebody, easy, yeah. if I'm with somebody for any length of time, then I start picking up mm -hmm. how they talk. And uh, I find it really fascinating. And anyway, regardless. I worked with a guy that stuttered. I worked with him for so long, I started stuttering. And to this day, I still wouldn't have. If I get excited, and <laughs> it'll come out of me. And I'm like, I, I just, I, I remember this guy I worked with, and. Could have stopped stuttering. So yeah, it's easy to pick up. You want to fit in anyway, though. You don't want to have tourists stamped on your head, right? No. <laughs> like I did at Penn Station last night. Oh man. No tourists. I am not a tourist. Len, can you pass those out after when I like, really got time? They yeah. To the officers. Yeah, sure. Yep, yep. You know, and that's our way of saying thank you. All right. Can I sell them for a buck or what? I yeah. mean, come on, what? I got a few of them. Maybe we can start a campaign. You like know, that. something. We're thinking we need a bunch of cheap T-shirts or something. Hats, T-shirts, and those things. And then you, um... You put like you know you get like a donation you know what I mean like you know here five dollars we'll give you a dollar hat or you know what I mean yeah I was doing that remember David I, I had that bucket yeah. while I was walking yeah. there's got to be a way to in, grab uh, a few bucks that you know for fuel money and everything yeah. and well, for help. everything Alberta yeah literally I was using a bucket on the road while I was bought while I was trekking mm -hmm. and I'd have that bucket full by the end of the day yeah cool couldn't do it here though. You can do what it. Do Somebody do else can do it. Something going on here. We've got um, New York's finest going on here. This is good. Oh, those are neat apartments. Oh man, look how big that crack is. What crack? Um, I, I, I don't see that it's moved since the last time you mentioned it. We gotta get that fixed. But, um, she's about to creep. I mean, the winter, I think if the cold, if we get another cold snap, and some ice and snow on the windshield, it might creep around. I, I, got, I gotta take care of that. Alright. There's gotta be some glass places around. Um, I don't know of one offhand, but uh, like in Brantford, they call it Cherry Hill Route 1. There's got to be a place. We have a national like car, 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 uh, auto car, car, uh, car store. Yeah, there's Napa's all over the place. Napa Auto Parts. Broco. Um, I have to see what's going on. So. Where's Brooklyn from here? Brooklyn, over, out to your right, east, and down, and okay. south. Okay, and Queens is uh, to the east as well? Also, yes, yep, yep, right. yep, yep. Yeah, I remember looking on the map yesterday trying to figure out where places were. Straight ahead, we've got the Bronx. To your right, you've got, at your shoulder, you've got Queens. Behind you, to your right, is Brooklyn. To our left, of course, is the rest of Manhattan, and across the river is um, New Jersey. 